Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy here on Shogun FC and I've got 100,000 GP and there's a special agent. So you know what time it is already. We're going to open these up. I'm going to spend all of my GP. I'm probably going to get nobody good and that's just the way it goes here. But when there's a special agent, we've got to do that pack opening. We've got to open these special agents up. So let's just straight away, let's just get into it. So for those who don't know, it's the best of October event. Um, which is basically all the players that were on really good form last month um, They get put into this. There's a 14.7 chance of me getting somebody of a decent rating um, But I'm gonna first off before I get into this I'm gonna show you the list of players that you can get with this agent Right, so off the bat I've gone obviously from best to worst There's the likes of Robin. I would quite happily have Robin in the team. Ibrahimovic is really the guy I'm looking for um, I think he'll just take his team to a whole different level. Yaya Toy would be great in midfield. Him and Matuidi in midfield. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, uh, yeah, that would be fantastic. I've already got Neuer. Um, Aguero would be fantastic as well. Um, Suarez, yeah, sure. Uh, Thiago Silva, him next to Ramos would just be all defensive problems solved forever. I've obviously got Neymar. Lewandowski wouldn't be too bad. Um... And, you know, Boateng can play all across the back. He'd be fantastic. Muller, uh, Schweinsteiger, David Silva, uh, even Thiago as well. Like, he's not my sort of player, I don't think. I mean, I've used him when I've played friendlies with Bayern and stuff. He's okay. Um, Benzema, yeah, yeah, I could use Benzema. Um, he's, he's one of the better passers when it comes to um, centre-forwards, but I'd still rather Ibra. Um, Lasana Diara, for some reason, is still quite good on this game. Um, and he's on good form, so wouldn't mind him. Higuain, always, always prolific. Pretty good passer as well. Godin. Um, I mean, I don't know if he's... He's, he's an upgrade on Barzagli, te technically by stats-wise, but um, I'm quite happy with Barzagli. Sanchez would make my day if I got him. I'd, I'd be happy forever. Don't want Rooney. Uh, don't need De Gea. Um, I've got Griezmann, um, just from, I actually got him in a, in a scout opening actually, I just, um, I was playing some offline games, opened up some scouts and I got level 1 Griezmann, so I'm even playing offline with him, and I've got him up to like level 23 or something now, but um, yeah, he's useful, um, Goetze, he's okay, I mean, he wouldn't be the worst player to have, um, could play him as a false 9, um, again, don't need another goalkeeper, Peter Cech, he's good though, Di Natale, don't really need him. Murta Saka, despite him being slow, he's one of my favourite defenders on the game. Um, I think he's one of the best. Nasri is always going to be useful. Uh, and then after that, Di Maria, pretty good. Giroud, um, he offers something different, I guess. Um, yeah, I think after this, now, there's not really many players that I want. I've come up against Cazorla a few times, and he's been pretty good. Like, people are using him quite well. Obviously, he's a very good dribbler and a very good pass to the ball. So, I wouldn't mind him. Um, Marcelo, not really much of an upgrade on Durham, so I don't really want him. I think after that, Urza would be quite good. But there's not many people down here that I'm really too fussed about. Verratti, maybe. Um, obviously, I've got Barzagli. But yeah, so we know what sort of players are available. We know who we want. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight into this and see who we get. Cool. Right, so obviously, any of you like that have done maths will know I'm going to open up 10 of these. And um, so, here's the first of the 10. And I'm uh, just going to pay straight up with the GP. And uh, let's see if we get someone good. Let's get one of these. If I can get like three black balls out of ten, I'll be more than happy. Um, I think that, that definitely beats the odds. Um, it's slowing down. It's a gold ball. So, uh, nothing great to start off with. But uh, let's see who we get. Botia. Don't really know who this guy is. Um, yeah. Okay, second player. And these balls are going to spin. And are we going to get a black ball? No, it's going to be another gold. Um, I don't know. I'm, there's probably not going to be anybody worthwhile, really. I think the way the squad is at the moment, and I'll probably show you at the end of this video, um, it's going to be 
it's going to be pretty pointless getting gold players. Gold players aren't really going to break into this squad anymore. But, um, I mean, we'll take who we get. Uh, let's see who this third player is. I swear, if I get, like, all golds after having, like, 100,000 points, I'm going to lose my shit. And uh, here we go. Three out of three are gold players. Uh, Magista boots, I think. Uh, is that Boja? Oh, that is Boja. That's not too bad. Uh, he could probably make the bench, in all honesty. All right, fourth player. Round and round we go. Give me a black ball now. Come on, I deserve this. I deserve this. I deserve this. I deserve this. Come on. Yellow again or gold? Um, I don't recognize this guy. Jadson. No. Right, fifth player. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Come on, slow down that black ball for me. There we go, there we go, we got black ball, they've added us Krebs, he's an elite player, okay, who is he? I can't really see the face, is that, I don't even know who that is, Pjanic, I mean, he's okay in midfield I guess, um, yeah, alright, yeah, I'll take that, I'll take that, he's a, he's a very good passer, so, um, I mean, he'll be feeding a very, very good set of players ahead of him, so yeah, Pjanic, welcome to the club, mate. Okay, another 10k, and I wouldn't mind another black ball. That's slowed down, and it's one away. That's always really frustrating. Again, Adidas Krebs. Don't know who this player is by the face. Sigurini. I can't say I'm familiar with you, but whatever. Okay, four more to go. Um, let's see. Oh, I've got a bit of a higher chance now. There's three black balls. Not that it counts for anything, because I didn't get one. But uh, again, Adidas boots on a gold player. Don't quite know who it is. Leonardo Silva from Atletico Mineiro. All right, three more of these to go now. And um, I, I'm, I'm going to need some more black balls, Konami. I'm going to need some more black ones. Come on. There's three of them on the roulette. All I'm asking for is one. Oh, come on, man. Ugh. <sighs> All this has been is an advert for Adidas right now. Just their boots have shown up all the way. Demarcus, 79 rated right back. Um, I mean, he's, he's versatile, but I don't think he's going to really take Aurea out of the squad by any stretch. Right then, second to last. And uh, we really do need a, another black ball now because uh, this is getting a bit ridiculous. And it's another gold one. This isn't going well. Uh, come on, Klaassen, he's not bad in all honesty, um, but he's more of a squad player, he's not really going to make the actual team I guess. Alright then, this is the last one of the episode and if I don't get a black ball, this is, I'm going to consider this a failure, um, but we'll see, let's see who we get. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. Alright, we've got three black balls going around. And let's see if we get one of them. It would be nice. We're not going to. It's another gold ball. And I'm quite upset by this. I mean, it's gone by the probability, you know. Just over 10% or whatever. But one out of 10 spins really doesn't... <laughs> go down too well but hey we got Gezal um, yeah that's what it is man right then so uh, this is what the squad looks like now and it's quite a big change um, since the last time I filmed a my club video mostly because of the fact that um, I did two recordings and um, they just there were problems with the video footage and stuff so I couldn't put them up but the, the team has improved quite drastically since then. Um, so, yeah. Um, Neuer, obviously, is still in goal. Um, back four of Eric Derm, Barzagli, Ramos and Aurier. You'll notice that Barzagli has improved quite a bit since. Um, Pjanic, Faguli and Matuidi now make up that midfield. Pjanic, who obviously we just got. Um, and then up top, we've got Walcott, Neymar and Griezmann. Uh, Griezmann I literally got like a couple of days ago I was um, just playing some offline games to get some GP to do this video and um, I you know you, you open up your scouts and stuff 
just to get, you know, throwaway players to use. And uh, I ended up getting a black ball. I got Griezmann, um, which obviously I'm really quite happy about. And um, I've just been using him in the meantime, just levelling him up. Um, usually I don't use black balls when I'm just, you know, getting GP and stuff. But um, I thought, well, why not level him up? He's at level 25 right now, which is an 85 rated. Um, and obviously there's still five levels just to get to standard. Um, and then he can continue improving from there. But already he looks quite a player. Um, and I'm looking forward to using him in some actual online games. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, that's the squad right now. And the bench is, you know, as it has been really, hasn't really changed that much. There's a couple of faces in there. Um, we've got Rui Patricio in goal. Uh, again, there's no real use for him. Um, Agbonna is still a very useful second choice centre half. Uh, Kiate is actually better at centre back than Barzagli by stats, but I prefer Barzagli in there. Um, Nabil Fakir, who we've had for a while, is is still a very good person to bring off the bench. He also gives me a um, 99 chemistry if I bring him on for anybody really. Um, like I could replace Pjanic with him right now, and there you go, straight up to 99. Um, but I think Pjanic is going to be a much better player in there. Uh, same goes for Matias Fernandez as well. Um, he's another player that brings us up to 99 chemistry and is also a very, very good footballer. Um, is a player that's going to make uh, one of my subscribers um, quite jealous. Uh, Farhan, who runs One Minute Roma. If you haven't seen his channel, go check it out. I'm going to leave um, a little link to that in uh, the eye at the top of this video. Um, it's just kind of the little information cards. Um, have a look at his channel. He's got some really good content on there. But um, as you'll figure out very quickly from his, his videos, um, he's a, a very big fan of Roma. Um, and a massive fan of Francesco Totti. And I don't think he's got him. Uh, I don't know if he plays my club. I don't think he does. Uh, well, he does, but he doesn't video them. But um, he, I know he wants Totti really badly. And um, I've got him. So uh, I guess this is me saying you could live vicariously through me. Um, I will use Totti in some videos. I've used him offline and he's quite useful. He's got a great range of passing um, as a striker. I think as... Out of all the strikers on the game, he's the best passer of them all. So um, I'll be using him as a false nine in some games as well, just to mix things up a bit. And of course, we've got the goal machine, Quagliarella. Um, and it's quite strange, really, that he's dropped down to the bench because um, early on we had Joseph Dermic. He was our first kind of star striker. In the very first episode, he scored a bag of goals and he was really, really potent. Then we got Quagliarella very early on. He just took over and he's been scoring goals for fun. Um, and then recently players have been coming into the team and just slowly pushing him down the pecking order. Neymar's been moved into the middle. Uh, put Quagliarella out on the, on the, uh, on the left. Uh, just because Neymar's a bit quicker and he's got more that he offers in the middle. He's a better finisher as well. Um, and obviously Walcott's coming in the team as well. And the likes of Griezmann, Totti, Dos Santos, players like that came into the team. And eventually he's been pushed down to the bench, which is a shame really. But he's still a very good player and I'll still bring him on um, when I'm chasing games, needing goals, that sort of thing. Um, and he'll probably play against weaker defences. But yeah, this is the squad. And, um, you know, I'm quite happy with it. So, yeah, I mean, the ball opening wasn't great, but over the course of the videos that I have recorded, we've built up a very, very strong squad. We've got 98, 99 chemistry, team spirit, whatever you want to call it, level 5 squads. It's a very, very good team. We've come up against very, very good squads recently as well, obviously, as the matchmaking gets harder. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a really good team. So let me know what you think of this team. Let me know what you think of the players we've got um, and any other combinations that you think I should use. Where should I put players? Um, who should play where if you've got a better idea and um, let me know in the comments and um, yeah thank you for watching this has been um, another pack opening ball balling out video there will be an actual balling out video um, coming soon I might actually live stream it um, if I do I'll probably live stream the entire season so that will be 10 matches or at least until we get promoted um, we're in like Division 7 now, I think. So, um, yeah, that'll be very, very interesting. But until then, uh, take care of yourself. And uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, hit like. Obviously, um, 
It keeps me motivated. It helps the channel grow. Share this video if you enjoy any of my videos or whatever. Uh, subscribe if you're new. And until then, take care. Peace.